What's going on guys, your boy CJ here back again with another Division video. This is just going to be a quick update on the build that I released last night. Um, I'm just going to clarify what I put out in my video just because I did not put the overall stats of my build, like critical hit chance and overall damage, armor mitigation, all that stuff. So I'm just going to quickly skim through my build one more time so you guys can see. I'm not going to go in depth or anything like that. If you guys want to hear the more in depth version, just go ahead and check out the last video. It'll be an annotation above right now, or it'll be in the link in the description below. So just go check that out if you want to know why I use a certain piece in this build or whatever. So let's just get right into it. So for my primary, I use a lightweight M4, 22% enemy armor damage, deadly, vicious, destructive. Secondary, I use a M700 carbon, 144 headshot damage, 129k base damage, repaired, destructive, and elevated. For my uh, sidearm, I use a double barrel sawed off, 182 gear score competent, adept, and sustained. So I'm going to go into my gear. I use the Luray Barrett's chest B, 322 armor, 1769 stamina, health armor, and stamina mods rolled in. Mask, I use Tenacious Mask, 1469, uh, firearm sign, 88 armor, 11% exotic damage resilience, 9% enemy armor damage, and an armor roll inside my firearms mod. Championship pads, I use 1146 stamina, 2631 armor, 1178 armor rolled, 29% bleed resistance, 30% disorient resistance, 12% enemy armor damage, and it's rolled into 245 firearms, 271 armor, and a prototype performance mod for 6% first aid self heal. And I just went rogue. Okay, GG. So for my backpack, I use specialized backpack, 2208 uh, armor, 1516. Stamina, 951 armor, 15% bleed resistance, stamina mod rolled in. Prototype performance mods, 6% first aid self heal. I run that in every piece, I'm not going to say that again. For my gloves, which is the main part of this build, Skull them MC gloves, 1271 firearms, 1136 assault rifle damage, 8% damage to leads. So of course, you're going to want to switch that to critical hit chance, uh, and 16% critical hit damage. For my holster, I use a uh, nimble holster. 155 base armor, 1257 armor, 1205 firearms, 1257 electronics, 671 armor, and of course first aid self heal. So I'm going to go to my character stats real quick. I use firearms, uh, blah, blah, blah. weapon damage is 14, whoa, no that's not even right. Let me just fix that real quick. Dude, I don't know why this game does that. Okay, so now it's correct. So 21k damage, 20% critical hit chance, 100% uh, critical hit damage, 87% headshot damage, uh, reload speed 4%, all weapon damage 16%, blah blah blah, enemy armor damage 58% which is really high, I'm trying to get to 60 but whatever, skill power obviously not too bad for a DPS build, survivability, 447 toughness, max health 205, 54.4 mitigation if you pop two skills with the Larry Bates chest piece on, you'll have the 59% uh, enemy or enemy or bleh, armor mitigation. Jesus Christ! And that's really about it. I didn't I didn't clarify that before, so I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna show the talents that I use as well real quick, so people don't have to go and do that. So for the skills, I use pulse booster shot, and for the talents, I use. Critical save, tactical advance. Now people are gonna ask if they didn't watch the first video why I use that, so you're gonna have to definitely go out and check that video, and you'll understand why I use that. Uh, precision and on the move. Those are what I use. Sorry for not pointing that out the first time. So this has been CJ. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.